just when it comes down to that shit. You think he doing what he do? Uh, are we recording? <laughs> yeah, we recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you think he doing what he do? What do you mean? Like, like I like I want to I want to be clear. What do you what do you think Drake mentality is at right now? Oh. How you think he like like off of off of after the battle, and we I right, so we can we can admit that he lost. <clears throat> That's we can admit that. Or are you still on the fence? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. So you can admit he lost. I can admit that he lost the battle. I can admit it. You admit he lost the war though. That's another. So we gonna talk about that a little bit later. Anyway, the war. Yeah. The war is definitely still going on. Still going on, still but going on. but he is definitely not looking no. too good. Okay. With the war, if he wants to continue on, it's still not looking good for him. Yeah. He's not doing what I said he needs to do. What you said he needs to do? I said he needs to make good music. So so. All right. So let me ask you this before we even get into it. He released about 16 songs since the beef mm -hmm. 16 mm -hmm. do you think that he's making good music still or you think that he's just desperate for a hit it sounds like he's desperate for a hit you do know that drake is not on the charts anymore yeah how you feel about that it is what it is. Man. <laughs> nah, nah, dog. I'm like, yo, word of I'm like, saying, I'm like, saying. Like, I keep telling you, yo. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying you're a big Drake fan, okay, bro. Listen, I ain't okay. saying that. Okay, listen. The way I feel about Drake. Yeah. Drake is not like a super, I'm not like a super, super fan of Drake. I do respect his artistry. I do respect who, hey, I respect who he is as an artist. Yeah. And what he has done for the culture. Yeah. You know what I mean? And what he has done for hip hop. He has done a lot for hip hop. He's kept hip hop relevant for a pretty long you time. You think so? Why hasn't he? How did he keep hip hop relevant? That's a whole other conversation. Anyway, torture talk. We in here, man. We in here. Let y'all know, man. Let y'all know. Look, man. Like, share, subscribe to the page if you're new here. You know what I'm saying? Let us work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash app, PayPal is in the description. They called me the hidden gem. I went from 35 or 1300 subscribers to over 11,000. And let me know where you from, man. You know what I'm saying? So we in here, we about to do this. It's about yes, to be sir. interesting. <laughs> 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 so look, man. Mm -hmm. How do you believe? What makes you think that Drake? Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm thinking about it the wrong way. You're not saying Drake was solely the reason why. You're just saying Drake was one of the reasons why. Most definitely. Okay. He definitely was one of the reasons why that hip hop sustained its relevance through those times. For 15 years. For the past since he's been out. Yeah, 15 years. About yeah. 15 years. Yeah, most definitely. So, all right, I will say this. You have to kind of, I have to kind of commend Drake on one thing. And that is, even if he has, uh, how would I say, uh, culture vultured his way through certain things, mm -hmm. I will say that he found a way to stay relevant for that long consistently yes now i agree with that okay culture vulture yeah uh, that's yeah okay listen <laughs> the thing is right the thing is for me right yeah how is he totally being a culture vulture okay now i see where you can get the premise of him being a culture vulture yeah. i see where i see where um Kendrick Lamar is coming from. I see, but guess what, though? Yeah. These people allowed him to be this way. Now, listen. When he first came out, we all pretty much true hip hop connoisseurs. 
pretty much had the same thoughts of Drake. He was he wasn't trash, but he was pretty much a sucker ass nigga. Right. right now, when Drake first came out, yeah, the consensus on him was that he was a sucker ass. Okay, a sucker ass nigga, a nut bull that just came out here and we really didn't take him seriously because he looked like a straight not what hip hop was. Yeah. And we knew he was wheelchair Jimmy. And but then he grew on us. Hmm. He grew on us because of his lyrical content. He was he was good. He was actually really good. You know what I'm saying? He was good. So he grew on us and hip hop gave him a pass. Hmm. I mean like the true connoisseur said, you know what? This guy's not actually bad. He's actually pretty good. You know what I mean? He's actually pretty good at what he does. Now, this is before he had Ghost Riders, when he had the machine with him. Mm. So he, most of these thoughts was him. You know what I mean? And his pen was nice, yo. So people gave him that pass. Yeah. You know what I mean? And started accepting him for being the singing bull and being who he was. Okay? So with that... We kind of the people of hip hop usually we, we usually wouldn't have accepted a Drake in our younger years. Drake wouldn't have made it. Mm. Drake wouldn't have passed the bar because he was just that dude. Drake would have got used like Drake would have been pushed out the way like PM Dawn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drake would have been PM Dawned yeah. straight up. Yeah. Ain't no more to it. He'd have yeah. been straight up PM Dawned out of here. Yeah. But hip hop said, I guess they was feeling some hip hop was feeling something different at that time. Mm. They were tired of the same uh, rhetoric. They was tired of the same, uh, 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 same hearing the same thing from from hearing uh, from the same type of MC. They were tired of hearing, I shoot you this, I I I, I I'm the baddest nigga in the land. Mm. I'm a gangster. I'm this and I'm that. And he came during a time where people were ready for a change. Mm. And he came at that time and he was actually pretty good. So the hip hop connoisseurs pushed him to a point where he became acceptable. Yeah. So this is what happened with Drake. So now his pen was good. So we accepted Drake. Mm. So it's it's not like it's it's, it's a um a thing that he was culture vulturing he was doing this from the very very beginning and we knew who he was and around that time a lot of fake shit was going on mm. we had officer ricky and niggas didn't give a fuck as long as the music was good niggas didn't give a fuck about anything as mm. long as the music was good it didn't matter yeah it didn't matter let us look see five ten years back Officer Ricky, his career would have been done. As soon as they found out he was a correctional officer, his career would have been done. People would have stopped using, listening to him. But they didn't. At this time, hip hop was making a transformation of not caring really about how true the artist was, but just how good the music was. So okay, so all right, <clears throat> so so you so you saying that the reason why Drake is not considered a culture roach in your eyes is because. He was accepted the way he was. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, there's two things. There's a couple of different things I I, I kind of agree with and then I kind of disagree with. Um, I think a lot of people get dismissed and screwed because they think that Drake was the one that started that style. It really wasn't him. It was really Kanye West. It's Kanye West was the guy that Drake wanted to be. And that to say that obviously that's a that's a great argument with who's the bigger artist out of the two because you can't really say you know what I'm saying like honestly you can't really say it's actually a pretty good battle um but I think that he took that now to where I believe where the people say he's the culture vulture comes in that it does play into what Kendrick said about the Atlanta part and the reason why I say that is kind of it kind of it's kind of true in some ways is because Drake rapped the way he rapped. If you listen to all his music now, he doesn't even rap like that anymore. 
everything he has done after he became after you to you the best not everything but most of the stuff he started that's when he started to get writers now and again he writes for people too so i can't really argue that point because he do write for other artists he did do write songs for other artists now i don't know if it was him that wrote it but let's just for argument's sake he did write it but when he started messing with these atlanta artists he didn't he, that wasn't his style none of that was his style when he started messing with them drill artists that wasn't his style none of that was his style so that's where people come in at with the culture vulture things because they look at it like some of these people created the migos created their own style oh well uh, i would say future migos young thug uh all of these dudes they had their own style then drake comes in and infiltrates that style takes that style makes it bigger whether it helps them or not but it helps him more then he moves on to the next style that's how that's why i think people come in when they say drake's a culture vulture that's why i think that okay well I can have a, a, a just just a my view yeah, okay hip-hop's been doing this forever who why would you who would you say that did that jay-z did it to who if you talk to if, if you listen to any of the um most well, well a few of the um okay all right homes, I, I, I'll, 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 I'll give you that go ahead state, state property members okay. they say he took styles and took stuff from them and biggie did it all right oh, so, oh, oh, oh let me no, finish go ahead, go ahead biggie did it yeah when it comes down to somebody else's song yeah. when it came with bone and biggie he took their style am i correct that's oh, not a question. Did, no, no, no. You asking a question? You asking a question? No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking. No, no, I'm asking. Is rhetorical question? No, 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 no. <laughs> when when he came to their flow, yeah, when it go came ahead. To, he uh, used he used their flow. Am I am I correct? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. It's been done forever. People have always they 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 come and they they see a style, and even if it's they 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 hop on somebody else's uh wave, and it's always been that way. Jay Z did it with Big Pimpin'. Okay. He did it, you know what I mean? Not to say, but not to say that that he um not to say that that um that he was biting. It just goes with the song. It goes with the song. The song goes that way, the wave is this way. You jump on that wave and you do it the way you do it, but you do it their way. Like I've hopped on many I, I, I've been with people. And I recorded with, and we were like, we're together recording, and they might have a cadence that's that's dope mm. for that song, and you be like, yo, that cadence was fire. Let me use this cadence, mm -hmm. and then now the song is fire. So we both used that cadence, but we did it in our own way. Right. So that's how I see Drake. I don't see him as a big, big, big culture vulture because somebody came up with a style, and he uses the style. And the style is dope. I I, I, I have a kind of argument for that though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. So my my all right, so <laughs> my counter argument would be it, it, Drake was not of the culture. That's why they say he's a culture vulture. Why isn't Drake of the culture? Because he why was did, not. How is he not? Of, <laughs> he was of the culture. How, how is Drake? How is Drake not of the because hip hop culture? Drake, because Drake was a child actor who who oh gosh, who. Bro. I'm just being honest. Like I'm just I'm saying, I'm, I'm not even going to talk about. I'm not even going to talk about. I'm not even going to talk about his ethnicity. I'm just going to say, he was a child actor who really didn't know anything about hip hop. Biggie, Jay Z, all the people you named, they grew up in the culture. Drake didn't. This is the reason why people say he's a culture vulture. Now, granted, I'll give you this. Even that, even though even though people say that Drake's a culture vulture or whatever, it kind of really don't hold no weight in a way because he never left the culture. He came into it and he stayed in it. You get what I'm saying? Yes. It's not like he. It's not like Drake did a a a, a, a post Malone. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. Like so. So like, he's not like don't he did like that. that. So I kind of understand. I understand both sides. I will have to, and I'll be honest with you, I will have to more agree with the side of he's really not because he didn't never leave. But I will stay, I will say that I, I put it to you like this. He became of the culture because he stayed in it. Now, 
Drake was a nerd. Let's be honest. Facts. He was a nerd. Facts. He was a nerd. This is the argument. Or I guess this is the conversation I really want to have. We're so if you're a nerd, mm -hmm. if you look at Drake now, and I'm not saying he's he, he he's the toughest guy ever, but he's definitely not that guy he was when he was younger. How do you think that that happened to him? I can explain exactly how it happened to him. How do you think it happened? No, this is what happened. Now I'm just saying. I'm no, asking. No, no, no. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to explain. Yeah. You're the guy, right? Mm -hmm. You've been the guy for a very long period. You have had many things happen to you when you were be when you were becoming that guy, when you were becoming the guy. Mm -hmm. So a lot of humiliating things, getting peed on, getting punched, socked in the face, everybody laughing at you, and you know you're the guy. So this is what happens. He's mm -hmm. tired of being the guy that everybody laughs at. And now I do have the power, even though I'm not tough, I do have the power. So he's, so no, he's, so I he, do have the power to make things move now. So he's the penguin. If it's the, he's the penguin, then he's the penguin. I'm asking. Then if, if, you if seen the penguin? Like, no, I haven't watched. I haven't you haven't seen watched the penguin? I haven't watched the penguin yet. Oh my God. Nah, not yet. I, I heard it's decent, but I, I no, it's to more it than decent, bro. It's actually pretty good, bro. Listen, okay, you let's... need to watch that tonight when you okay. go home. Let's... I'm dead serious. Okay, well let's not let's, bro. let's not get off the subject. <laughs> but I'm no, I'm, I'm but, not. But, but, since but, you didn't but, see the penguin, so I'm, I'm not going to tell you. I'm but, just going to say you you'll get it when you see the show. Yes. You'll understand yes. exactly what I'm. Mean. Yes, yes, man. Yeah. Yes, if things, all these things happen, then like um. What was happened? Um, so he grew into his. Nothing he was grew the into same. his gangster. That's nothing what you're was saying? the same as when he became the Drake that we know now. Do you think he's gangster? No, he's not gangster. But he doesn't. He grew. But uh, he so he grew into a guy who doesn't he, play games. Yes. Okay. Yes. He doesn't act gangster, gangster. Drake I'm not saying act, he acts gangster. I'm just Drake, asking a question. You, if anybody tells me Drake acts super gangster, like he's the gangster as bro. But person in the world, he doesn't act that way. He acts like a person that has power now, and he's drunk off power. And, uh, he's yes. not really drunk off power. Well, he, he, in ways he are. He is okay. because now he's doing extra stuff that he shouldn't do, like when he's messing with other people's women. Yeah, you know what I mean. When doing stuff like that, now he's flexing his muscles. So let me ask you this question: now, During the battle, during the battle, Drake had said, Drake had said some now because i say this to people all the time like you do you 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 obviously don't believe that drake messes with little young girls you don't mm, believe that I don't right believe so that. let's just let's just x that out do you think drake was wrong for saying that kendrick's baby mother a baby one of her babies was kendrick's best friend do you think drake was wrong for saying that <sighs> okay Yes, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have said it. Now this is a battle. Now I'm no, just no, saying no, in the no, battle. No, 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 this hold up. See, but me, I'm I'm a different person. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm like Kendrick. It's a friendly fade. Okay. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. Me is going to be bars, hip hop, rapping. You know what I mean. But in a battle, anything can happen. Yeah. So it's fair game. Okay, so that, so that takes me to my next point, right? So that's all I'm saying to you. So I see people online telling, saying things like Kendrick was wrong for saying that he was a P, you know what a PDF file is, yeah. saying he is a PDF file, right? Yeah. People were, people were saying he was wrong. Do you think that that was a direct consequence of what he said about Kendrick's uh, wife and child? Yes, it could be. Yeah, no problem. I mean, why not? So you think that that's fair? That he did that, Kendrick. Yes. The throw stain on Drake like that. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Why wouldn't it be? Everything's fair, all love and war. That's true. Like, you know what I mean? If you gonna come around and say that I'm a wife beater, uh, my kids, um, uh, I, I, I don't, I, I don't like, I have a colorism thing. You know what I mean? If you're saying all oh, this about me, it's time to throw the gloves. Will come off. And so even if he lies, even if he lies. So it's a, so you think it's. It, you think it was okay for him to say that Drake had a daughter with no proof, right? And I'm just saying, I'm not saying that he doesn't have proof. I'm just saying this is what people were saying. Yes. 
So you said, okay, so in a battle, right? In a battle, mm -hmm. you know, I was a battle rapper, you know, you know. Exactly. In battle rap, the only way things could be off limits is if you tell somebody before the battle, don't bring up my dead homie, don't bring up my girl, leave my kids out of it, let's just battle. You could, you could say whatever around that, but don't bring these up. Now, the reason why I brought that up is because if you listen to the third verse in Family Matters from Drake, he literally said that him and Kendrick had a conversation before the battle. And Kendrick told him, don't talk about these things. And Drake said, and this goes back to your point about him having power. Drake said, I don't care. He said, oh, I agree to it, but once the battle started, I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do. Mm hmm Do you think that that's right? See, no, we're talking about me. No, I'm asking. I'm asking. Personally? I'm asking if you, if, you if, if somebody, if, if Drake came and told you that, he did that. That's shit. Okay. I agree. If we have a conversation. Yeah. Me and you or any man, and we saying this is the parameters of this battle, and we agree, we shake hands. Yeah. Well, phone conversation. That's like a shake, shake hands thing, whatever. Yeah. Uh, then and then you come out very disrespectful. Then yes, there's some sucker shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm just being exactly. It's some that, total. That, that is. It's, it's, it's totally some sucker stuff. Now. Now, okay. So before you go any further, I mm -hmm. want to ask you one, one another question. Mm -hmm. Do you think that? Do you think that that sucker, that sucker shit comes from him not knowing how to? How would I say this? Not being cut from the black culture it, it, the street culture of the black culture you get what i'm saying i'm trying to word it the right way but i, I kind of ain't wording it right kind of like how me and you grew up we know that that's not that's some sucking shit to tell somebody something and then do something it's like oh like a movie like oh uh, yeah i'm we gonna it's gonna be all good man don't worry <laughs> you get to the yeah. spot <laughs> they play your exactly. you know what I'm saying yeah. like brother Mazzone and uh they did to exactly <laughs> him but, and Omar did to fucking uh, <laughs> string a bell you know what I'm saying but, got him to the building like but, what but, the hell but, like you know what I'm saying like, but there you go that's that, what I'm that, saying but, but that shows you how things can be it's all the art of war yeah exactly I, and, and that's it's, what I'm saying so so even so even when in, in so in the art of war there's no honorability. So you're basically saying there's no honor in in battling. There's no honor in that person. In Drake. Yeah. But it comes down to that certain things. But the so only, why do you think people the say, only thing Drake yeah. knows of a battle really is personals. That's what I'm saying to you. That's exactly what I'm saying. That's what he knows. And do you think that do you think that it's been used against him so much? That's what most of his battles and everything has been used against him in all his battles. It's been personal. You think people are personal? You don't think you well, don't well, think talking well, about my child was, is was, personal? That, wait, 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 wait no. that, wait, when when Pusha T did that? Yes. But that before it, that it, it, wasn't uh, that way. What you mean? That's personal. I'm talking about before that. When? Pusha T Who did, else? Did, did Pusha T did a song Pusha, before it, that. He's only had two big battles. Drake has had two no, big no, battles. No, no. Pusha T did he did actually he had three big battles. Two. Four. Oh, okay. I say two. Two. But, um, two? but besides Kendrick Lamar. No, he did four. He had four. No, two. Who? Who? Who, who else? Okay, I would say um, Meek yeah. and Pusher. No, and Common. Common. Common was, yeah. You ain't, Common was a big, he made a song dissing Drake and had his name all in the song. And no, the I never heard that. You never that's heard the song Sweet? That's how I know it wasn't that big of a battle. And, and then Drake did the join on um on Stay that Scheming. That was about, about Common. It wasn't that big of a battle. Bro, it was a big battle. That was a really big battle. If I ain't hear about it, wasn't a big battle. <laughs> you ain't hear Drake's songs. I'm just keeping it so, one. You ain't hear his 16 songs he dropped. He's still a big artist. Legend. I'm saying that was a big battle. If I, I'm going to say, if, if I didn't He did hear a about whole it, freestyle on, on Tim I Westwood. Hear, I'm just telling you, bro. I, I'm, I hear what you're saying. So it's four, he had four I'm, major I'm battles, it. right? Okay, four, including the Kendrick one, right? Th that's four. Okay, yeah. so, okay, so four. you're saying he has four major battles. Yeah. Okay, well. The only ones I know of. But I'm telling you about it now. Three. I'm telling but, you about but, it but now. But the other ones was was was. You gotta take my word for it. I, 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 if you <laughs> say it, there, I believe you. I believe you. I, I, I'm still I'm still going to go on if I don't know about it. 
I'm saying. I'm joking, I, bro. I know, I know. I'm saying. Look, I'm saying. So let's say he had four major battles. All, all out of out of only only two only two of those battles. Well, one really was after because they say all of those dudes they gave Drake the benefit of the doubt. Every one of them. Who? Look, I'm explaining to you. I'm breaking down. Well, when like he battled, <laughs> right? Sound like the owl, the OVO owl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, you ain't no OVO. You ain't, well, ain't, you ain't OV Joe. Oh, 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 <laughs> you seen oh, oh, oh. Joe? You seen Fat Joe? Nah. <laughs> talk about something. Oh, he's talking about talking about Kendrick, and then they got pictures of him with an OVO jacket on. <laughs> Come on, bro. I mean, but no, I, 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 I understand. But look, this is what I'm saying to you, right? Check this out. So. <clears throat> The first bat, the first John was infrared, I believe, when Pusha T this this Drake and he this uh then then Drake did a joint, um, I believe, and then and then Pusha T did another joint. Then Drake did Duppy Freestyle, which was super fire. Yes, I love Duppy Freestyle. Super fire. And that's when he did Story of Adonis. That was the first time that he talked about Drake's child. He said you're hiding the sun. The the Meek John, Meek just said that he had a ghostwriter. And then the common John, common just said he was a sweet dude. The song's called Sweet. He was just basically saying he's he's sweet. He canned it dry. He did two joints. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I think out of all of them joints, Drake was the one hitting them with personals. He talked about every one of them dudes, girls in the, every song. Every song uh, he ever did, he did. He talked about niggas, girls. Now that I think about it. Yeah, I didn't even know that. He did. He talked about Pusha T's wife, Virginia. I let it ring like, let it ring off like a journey wind. That was fire. <laughs> was. That was crazy. I let it ring off like Virginia Williams. Yeah, that was fire. I don't think, I don't, I don't think he wrote that. I don't know if he wrote that either, because that was crazy. <laughs> I don't know if he wrote that. That was crazy. But he. he but he, they said that. He had a, he, he, he had a nice joint for for Pusha T. This the, the next joint yeah, that he was supposed to have released, yeah, they said but they were saying it was too much. That Prince was like chill. Man, Jay listen, Prince let me like, explain you something to you. you. Can't put that out. Let me explain something to you, bro. You do. He did. I don't care what Drake would have put out. Nothing would have supersede. Oh, he and he battled Joe Buttons too. Did he battle Joe Buttons? Yeah. I do. I uh, forgot about that. Yo, yo, it's crazy. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. It's crazy. If you go back and listen to all the Joe Buttons joints, he said all of this before they did everything that they said, except for the Adonis part. He yeah. said everything. Joe Button said everything. The colorism. The, uh, the the you grew up thinking you black. All this. He did all Joe that. Buttons. Dude, man, They're, as an artist, I man, I don't y'all understand really why Joe, don't, y'all I don't really understand don't why Joe know. If, if anybody yeah. really don't, if, if anybody yeah, just really sees no Joe Button as as a podcaster, yeah, you really and don't know him musically, you should really go check yeah, out. Go check out his catalog. Go check out his catalog. Yeah, New man. music. Fuck, pump it up, man. I don't know why you niggas think it. I know, pump it up is fire. fire. I love I, if you listen to the lyrics of Pump It Up, he's definitely talking about he's gonna bring back real rap. I don't know why y'all think Pump It Up is just some song. He literally saying that in the song, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, like I don't, was fire. I don't, I don't understand care. why people was, hate on Pump It Up. Like, but the thing is, like, Pump It Up is a perfect song, though. I ain't gonna lie. It is the beef, the beat, with the flow, with the flow. Like, yeah, he he got that. Anyway, um, I don't think whatever Drake could have did would have combated Story of Adonis. He said, "You are hiding a child." That's battle's over. He that even was Drake was even hard. came out and said, "That was hard." I thought about, I thought about it, and I said, "It's not not gonna do." He, he got me. He got me, bro. Like, <laughs> he got me. Yeah, it's not not gonna do. Yeah, he got me. Yeah, he had to admit he lost. I thought he lost that one. I thought he lost that battle. I, like, I, I, I always thought that Drake had better raps. I think his raps were better at the time, but I think that once he dropped that, it became it, it. It wasn't a lyrical thing no more. Because Pusha T is super lyrical too. Mm. It wasn't a lyrical thing no more. It was more like, oh shit. What <laughs> just happened? <Yo. laughs> it's like the devil just walked in the room on fire. Like, bro. Yo, he literally said, You are hiding a child. <laughs> and then Drake had to 
he pushed Drake to come out and, and yes, announce his child. He had to. He was like, uh, like he had to. That's what I'm saying. So, but if you, but that was the only time. And then Kendrick, when Kendrick, Kendrick, everybody gave Drake the benefit of the doubt. I don't know why they did that with him, but everybody did, right? But this is what Drake did. In every one of those discs, he had something to say about those girls. He talked about Common, and he talked about uh, Serena Williams, because Common and Serena Williams was together. And so wasn't Drake, didn't Drake date Serena? Yeah, but he talked about her. He was talking about her, like saying that the, the, the bitch the pillow talk and telling me everything. Uh. Talking about Serena Williams, right? Then he comes out and he talks about Nikki to, to Meek Mill, <clears throat> right? Then he comes out and talk about Push's wife. Damn. Then he comes out and talk about Kim Kardashian putting the address. I don't think Kanye was the one who put his address or some shit like that. Some goofy shit. Then he came out and he talked about now those other dudes he did that too too. But we just talking about the ones we know. Then he came out and talked about uh Kendrick's um, girl. Yeah. Wait. Well, that's his MO. That's his MO, man. I mean, but he talks about what he really can talk about. He has known he is known as uh, as the as the the woman the the, the mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, no, no, no. A womanizer. Yes, that's a, <laughs> the drink icer. He is drink known, is he's, he's known as the womanizer. Yeah. The, 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 the girls love him. Yeah. So this is what his persona is. But before you would say that when Drake first came out, he wasn't like that. Because he couldn't, and he definitely said well, in no, a no, song, no, 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 no. "If you diss me, you know you won't get a reply from it." Didn't he say that in the song? And that's he what, definitely did say that. Now, in the now song. hold on, hold on, hold yeah, up, yeah, hold up, yeah, hold up. Oh, and he also talked about uh, Joe Button's girl, Tahiri. Oh, okay, but this is who he is. <laughs> that's who he's been since the beginning of his career, though. Yeah, he's been for the ladies. He has yeah. been. You can't say he is not. No, no, you're right. He right, but he's a little bit different now. He's he's different because he has more status. Yeah, his like status like, changes you. His, yeah, his status yeah. has changed. So, yeah, you know I mean, like I say, like Drake has been the butt of many jokes in the early of his career, and he mm. had to do nothing but eat most of them. Especially like getting pissed on, bro. Yeah, getting pissed on. That's I'll be I'll be That's I'll be ha- I'll be having tea time with Jesus because ain't no way in the world I'm, I'm getting I'm, pissed I'm, on. I'm, I'm, I'm getting pissed on, nigga. We going yeah. this this whole place wherever we at. It's going up in flames. It's going up. Yeah, it's going My up. My whole flames. squad is like, what? It's going we, up. We acting I'm up. I'm setting gasoline on everything. Word is bold. Wherever, wherever it was, I'm, I'm, I'm like a mobster. Yeah. Send your nigga down here, yeah. or we coming to get you. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Pee on me, bro. So that, that's it. It's Put rather, me in it's, the ground it's, it's today. Rather, it's rather your boy got to come down here, and we deal with him, and you want to watch us whoop his fucking ass. Mm-hmm. Or we coming and, and it is what it is. That's like what that, it that's is. what it is. Nobody fucking peeing on me without fucking consequence. Excuse mm-hmm. me. Ooh, look out. Excuse my language. Lord. I know you get a little upset. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This is this is his. I think his his personality becomes this because of the ridicule and the stuff that he has to deal with, especially. People, people were calling him out for being a culture vulture back then. Mm-hmm. So he don't feel that way. He feels like that he loves hip hop. Yeah. I mean, this is what I'm just thinking of a mind frame of a person that looked like he really loves hip. He looked like mm-hmm. he loves the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think he's becoming more of a machine now. You know what I mean? But I think deep down the side, he still loves the music that paralleled him to. Uh, to the status that he's in. 